All right, let's talk about oxyacetylene torches. This is a typical torch set you guys are gonna have on a, either an installation technician vehicle or a service technician vehicle. Uh, I've got an oxygen bottle, I've got an acetylene bottle, got a regulator for each, uh, a torch tip uh, with uh, adjustment handle so I can adjust the amount of oxygen and acetylene. Um, comes come in a little case, uh, the whole thing weighs probably 40 50 pounds uh, not crazy uh, weight wise you can get it up on a roof you can get it into a crawl space in, a, in an attic um, and it's enough gases to do uh, 15 20 separate um, uh, brazing points on copper so uh, what you would typically do is if uh, you're out of oxy or acetylene, you would go into a vendor and give them the old container. They'll give you a new one that's full, charge you 15, 20 bucks for each. Um, most trucks have an extra acetylene and an extra oxygen. So that keeps you going on a job at any time. And then as soon as you go to uh, the vendor the next time, uh, swap out your bottles so you always have a, an extra set all the time. Um, Gonna have a little sparker in here. That's just gonna we're gonna use to light our uh, torch. I'll show you that in a little bit. The brazing rod you typically are gonna be using is this uh, this Silfos brazing rod. I got a piece right here. Looks just like a piece of copper. It has a melting point uh, slightly below that of copper. So if you get the copper nice and red hot, where it's just about to melt, this should uh, melt sooner than that, so that you can bond the pieces of copper together. This particular one is a uh, uh, Silfos 15, meaning it is 15% silver. Uh, the higher the silver content, the easier it is to work with. Of course, the higher the cost also. The other type of uh, brazing material that we use a lot is uh, the safety silve. You can see this is a 45% silver, so uh, much more expensive. You can also use a flux with it. Uh, works a lot like um, soft soldering, copper piping for plumbing. Uh, this is also good for uh, connecting brass to copper and uh, doing some specialty uh, connections just like that. It's, it's essential with any of these that you uh, have a good roll of sand cloth and you clean up the copper and um, you typically a lot of times only get one shot at it. And if you don't clean up your copper and make it a nice clean fitting, uh, you're going to have problems and you're going to end up cutting it back out. So um, let's see. Uh, torch tips. This is the typical torch tip you're going to have. Um, they do make other specialty ones for uh, getting uh, copper piping in uh, tough areas. If this was uh, piping was somewhere against a wall, you could uh, use this torch tip and be able to heat both sides at once. Uh, a lot of different specialty tips like that that you can get nowadays. 